Hello friends, Liza here. Welcome back to another video. Another day, another drawing, and the cycle just keeps going on and on for Inktober 2020. We have so much still to draw and so little time. So much has gone by that my head is just spinning, which then again, couldn't be more appropriate for today's prompt, which just happens to be dizzy. In case you're new here, my name is Liza Compass, and I love making videos about art, music, and my creative journey as a whole. This year, I have challenged myself to make daily time-lapse videos to go along with my daily drawings. So while I got sick and did fall just a little bit behind, I am determined to catch up, even when this feels a bit like a whirlwind. If you are an Inktober junkie like I am, you might be feeling a little bit of deja vu right now. Well, that's because Dizzy is an accidental repeat from Inktober 2019, which ironically was also one of the prompts I had the hardest times with last year. I know, just my luck, right? But it's okay, because for Inktober this year, I've been trying to theme my drawings around ideas, emotions, and stories relative to our lives during these crazy times of 2020. This year will, without a doubt, be one for the history books in more ways than one. And if I'm being honest, I have a feeling things are about to get even crazier. You see, I'm a very intuitive person, and while I don't want to go making a bunch of crazy predictions in this video, I will say that I feel like the next two to three years are about to really redefine us as a human race. Now, what exactly that means to you, I will allow to be left open to interpretation. You see, you are the master of your own destiny. Not me, nor anyone else for that matter. And while I understand that it's human nature to always be eager for the truth, to anticipate future events under the guise of needing to prepare ourselves to know what best steps to take next, the real kicker is, there is no future. And there is no past. There is only now and the energies that we put out into the ether, into the universe, creating this exact moment. I know that I probably sound a bit too esoteric for most people's tastes, but this is just who I am. It's the way I think, and it's the way I see the world. Or at least this is how I am right now. But it always hasn't been that way for me. I have changed so much within the past few years, so much so that I feel as if the person I used to be is a complete stranger, someone who existed another lifetime ago, vaguely familiar yet still so far, far away. I went through a period in my life, not too long ago, where everything felt like it was spiraling out of control. It made me question everything about who I am, what I believe, and what my real purpose was in life. But I learned that sometimes, the only way to undergo meaningful transformation is to start from the ground up, even when that means tearing down old structures in order to build a new, stronger foundation. And for me, that is exactly what I needed, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. Today, I am grateful for these struggles, I am grateful for the pain, and yes, even for the chaos. And on a much larger scale, I see many similar challenges beginning to arise again. But this time, the universe has its eye on all of us. All at the same time. So I'll say it again, just like I've been saying time after time, we will get through this, no matter how much destruction we see around us. It may leave you feeling dizzy for a while, and it may take you a bit of time to pick yourself up and brush yourself off, and that's okay. But I assure you, you will prevail through the chaos. But the choice is yours as to what your new reality will look like after the dust settles. What are you ready to create for yourself from the rubble of structures that no longer serve you? Change is inevitable, and it's coming for all of us. But the real question is, are you ready to welcome it? Hey 
guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to be posting a video every single day throughout the month of Inktober. So if you liked this and you wanna see more, don't forget to give it a thumbs up down below. Leave me a comment letting me know what you thought of the video. And of course, most importantly, don't forget to subscribe and join this amazing and growing family. I'm also running a giveaway all throughout the month of Inktober, so if you want to find out how you can win some art from me, like the drawing you saw today, make sure to check the description box below for all the things you can win and how to enter. And as always guys, I love you all so much, thank you so much for watching, keep creating, and I will see you in my next video.